Good morning, hair mask is in. What's well, not the morning, that's a massive lie. What time is it? It's half past one. I fully intended to do this this morning, but we had a dinner party last night and I had a few glasses of wine. So I just decided to have the morning lying on the sofa watching reality TV. And I just put my hair mask in to motivate me. I've got dressed, put a bit of makeup on, done my skincare, always, always helps. We have a little bit of washing up to do still because I cooked so much yesterday. We had an Indian feast. Here's a photo or a video, it was so good. But I'm gonna get started on my menu for this week, meal plan. I'll leave them all linked below, all the recipes that I'm making so you can um, do them as well. But I'm gonna get all the ingredients out and decide what I need to cook first so I can do them at the same time. So that's the plan. Quite honest with you I don't know if I've ever watched a meal prep video or if I have done it's been a very long time so I've no clue how anyone else does it, it doesn't really matter this is how I'm gonna do it so I'm gonna share it with you I've got all the ingredients out on the island I'm gonna move it a bit out of the way so I can actually cook but I feel like this just saves having to look through the cupboards when you're cooking it just makes your life easier I do this anyway when I'm cooking and I'd really recommend you do it. So I've got all the ingredients, some of them are kind of crossing over um, and this is why these spice tins come in handy. I'll link them below. I did mention them in my decluttering videos because I organised all my spices and it just means when you're cooking, all my essential, these are like Indian spices and then these are sort of herbs and spices that are more used. It means you don't have to keep going back and looking for spices, you just can cook with this and then you've got your salt and pepper and your oil easy so i'm gonna basically start with the things that need roasting in the oven so i'm gonna switch the oven on luckily i've got two ovens <laughs> so i can basically start with the puff pastries and the soup at the same time and put things in the oven and then whilst it's all in the oven doing its thing i can make the salad but i'm not timing myself i'm not rushing this i'm sure as time goes on because i'm going to try and stick to this every week i'll get better at it because I'll know what I'm doing, but for now I'm just enjoying my Sunday listening to music, cooking, so I think that I will start. Oh, this is also another thing to mention. I think I did mention it to you already. It's any list, not sponsored. I've got it up on my iPad. I've made myself my meal plan for every meal and you click on each meal and it shows you the ingredients and then it shows you the recipe. Uh, so you can either import it or import it yourself. You can, um, basically use uh, the extension on Google Chrome to just take it from the website or you can use Eat Your Books which is a website which has all your cookbooks on there and then it imports the recipe from the cookbook. Brilliant. So I'm gonna have a little think about the order in which I'm gonna do this and start chopping. I don't think I told you what I'm cooking. So we're making a spicy tempeh salad. These are all recipes from my website. I did that because I wanted to just start using any list with recipes that I know rather than overcomplicating it. In the future I'll try different ones. So we've got spicy tempeh salad, roasted broccoli and mushroom soup, which I shared recently for my soup video, so you can go check that out up here. And my spicy, not spicy, sorry, my winter vegetable turnovers with puff pastry. So I think I'm gonna marinate the tofu, tempeh, sorry, for the tempeh salad first. And then I'm gonna get started on the puff pastries. And then when they're in the oven, I'll start on the soup. And then when that's in the oven, I can blend it and work on those and probably make the salad afterwards. And then I'm also gonna make some birch and muesli. I just found the recipe on BBC Good Food, but it's essentially overnight oats with muesli and yogurt. Really easy and delicious. It means I've got breakfast sorted for Monday and Tuesday, I think, or Monday, Monday and Tuesday, yeah. <laughs>
in the oven. I think because I defrosted that puff pastry, it was super wet, so you may have seen me struggling with it quite a bit. Doesn't matter, it's only us eating it. I don't know why, maybe that's why, or maybe I overfilled because I had to swap the Cavallo Nero kale for cabbage because I think there's a shortage of veg at the moment and there was no kale available in Sainsbury's. So I feel like maybe the cabbage was bigger because it didn't like, sh it doesn't really shrink like kale does because kale shrinks and so does spinach when you boil it a little bit. Um, so I think I overfilled them. Don't make that mistake but it doesn't matter, even if they explode, they'll still taste delicious. On to the next recipe, I'm gonna start on the roasted broccoli soup while they're in the oven. Yeah, going well. I This has all taken me a lot longer. Uh, oh, I didn't milk wash them. Of course I didn't milk wash them. I knew I would forget something. Right, let's quickly do this to get that lovely golden. They're already cooking, look. <laughs> they'll look fine, they'll just be not as neat as the ones I did in the recipe video. <gasps> okay. Yeah, this is taking me longer because I'm filming, so I'm able to move the camera and stuff. So I've been doing this for about half an hour. But yeah, I'm gonna get on to the soup now. these beautiful pastries are done. They look so much less messy when you actually cook them. I was worried. They look fine. In hindsight, probably what I would have done is freeze two of them because then you can just take them out the freezer and then cook them fresh. Um, I'll do that next time because these are the sort of things that you can literally put whatever you want inside. But for now, they're good to, I took them out a little bit early. That's another thing as well. If you want to pre-cook them, take them out a bit early. These are these are literally done, <laughs> but if you take them out maybe five minutes before they look totally done, then when you eat them on the day, you just put them in the oven for five minutes to have the last five minutes of cooking. Things I didn't necessarily think about today, but I'm gonna put, I think, two of these in the fridge that we can eat and heat up in the oven just for a couple minutes, and two of them in the freezer, but I will also ask Alex, he might want one now, or this afternoon. So, yeah, these look delicious. So the first thing's done, and then we've just got our, probably should move that over here. So we've got our broccoli soup simmering away whilst the broccoli mushrooms roast in the oven. I'm going to tidy away the food that I'm not using anymore and get started on the salad. The main issue with meal prepping is I just want to eat this. And I did look at my plan and I can. Can I eat this, Alex? Sorry? Can I eat this, do you think? If you do make these, allow them to sit because this is still boiling hot and it's been sitting there for like 15 minutes. Next time I want to make like a pasty, like I'm gonna use vegan mints and maybe like some winter vegetables like carrots, potato, swede, cabbage, that kind of thing. And make it really like a pasty and then I really want to do like a Mexican bean one.
We have all of our dishes. I have got quite a few missing because we had our dinner party last night. So there's quite a few leftovers in the fridge that we're gonna have for dinner tonight. So some of the bigger ones, I'm gonna hopefully fit everything. So I think some of this soup I'm gonna freeze. So I'm gonna try and hopefully, this is the thing with meal prepping, is figuring out what containers fit. Oh, actually that looks quite good. This is still hot, how is this still hot? So that's perfect because I might freeze one and then the other one can go in the fridge. And then we've got this massive salad, which I'm gonna divide into these two. I'm keeping the tempeh separate from the salad, even though the recipe says to mix it through. That's like, if you're like serving it as it is. I think every single week from now on, this is definitely not gonna fit in just two. I'll have to hunt out another container. Um, yeah, I think every single week from now on, I'm gonna make a big salad because it just encourages you to eat vegetables <laughs> and eat healthy vegetables. This salad is huge because I also added some, I think they're uh, pea shoots because my friend has a, a vegetable plot and he, he has a vegetable box which he runs in Cornwall. So if you're from Cornwall, check out Herlin Roots because he grows everything like literally 10 minutes down the road from me. Um, and he works very, very hard on it. I might be able to squish it in here. So it ha this, yeah, this salad is a bit bulkier because I, I chucked the extra bean sprouts in and it's got a whole tub of pea shoots in there. It's gonna be delightful. But I just think, yeah, having a salad like this means that you can pair it with leftovers, you can pair it with protein, um, anything you want really. And it means you've always got, I just, I think this is gonna be game changing for me. It will mean I've always got something on the go that's gonna encourage me to, you know, eat vegetables. And that's the goal, to eat lots of veg. Alex as well, like I feel like he can have this with um, other things. So that's the salad and I'm very happy it fit in those two. We're doing well so far. I'm gonna put the tempeh in here. It's weird, I seem to be missing lids. I don't understand because we like organized all of our containers recently. Let me have a look. Oh, actually, here's a big enough one. I'm gonna keep all of this broccoli and mushrooms separate because it's nice to top the soup with. Alex won't have this, he prefers a smooth soup. So I will just put this in the oven for a couple of minutes whilst my soup is heating up on the stove and then top everything. And then you can also make croutons. The recipe shows you how to make croutons if you're just making it then and there, but you could also just have it with bread. Croutons are very easy. You can fry them or just shove them in the oven. And then these, I'm gonna freeze one and then the other, ooh, I'm just gonna put in this little bag. How cute, I need to get a couple, few more of these because this also would be really useful for soup, I think, to have a little bag of soup to freeze. I think I'm just, no, I'm gonna put all three in here because Alex might be hungry one day and want to. So I'm gonna put all three in there and then if by Tuesday he's not eating them, I will put one in the freezer. And then you saw that I had my little salad dressing in here, which is an old, I think it was like a vegan cheesecake or something. And then this is an old spice jar and this is my muesli. We're gonna see if that's enough. That's, the recipe was a BBC Good Foods recipe and that said it's enough for two people. I'm, I'm confused because it looks like a small amount of food. But I think that they top it with, they say just top it with like fruit and extra nuts and seeds. So I'll do that and I'll tell you if it's filling enough. So I'll have half of that with some berries or some banana, some nuts and seeds, maybe a protein shake. I'm gonna experiment with um, birch and muesli because I can definitely add like protein powders and different ingredients in there. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this coconut milk in some kind of, actually no I'm not, that's, that's gonna end up not getting used. No, because the broccoli soup, I say to swirl through some coconut milk, but I've only got a big tin and then you end up not using the rest of the tin. So I'm not gonna bother with that, but here is my meal prep. Let me give you a closer look. Here's everything. Looking delicious. It's mainly lunches and breakfast, like I said, because I like to cook my dinner fresh, but this is wonderful. And it's kind of my first time really ever doing this properly. So I'm excited to experiment. And if you enjoy this video, I'll do more. That's it, that's my meal prep. This is basically gonna do me and Alex for lunches and a few breakfasts. I'm gonna make smoothies for breakfast as well. And Alex has Huel a lot for breakfast. And dinners I'm gonna make from scratch. So stay tuned for the next video. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe so you can see 
everything I eat next week uh, meal prepped and meal planned, including all of these things, of course, and I will see you then. Bye.